Right, today is going to be one of my car journey vlogs because it's my wife's birthday and I think she'll kill me if um, I say sorry love, I've got to edit my vlog. Even though she did buy me the uh, Osmo Mobile 2, which hasn't arrived yet, should arrive the next week or so. She has actually sort of, I think she's finally um, accepted what I'm doing. <laughs> not just a fad I'm still you know I'm desperate to do this 100 days of vlogging so as you know she's helped me out she's bought me an Osmo mobile 2 for my birthday which blew me away really I you know she, when she asked me what I want for my birthday I told her and well I was serious I wanted but I didn't seriously think she'd buy it for me but anyway thank you very much um, I'm on my way to the gym now because after yesterday's disastrous uh, vlog that I tried doing with my resistance bands trying to do like a workout video <laughs> it wasn't gonna be a workout video it was just a, a vlog of me doing like resistance band workouts I can't actually do that type of workout uh, at home and I really do miss going to the gym um, so after watching big willy to small willy videos I decided to go to the gym now and get my membership reinstated I've worked out that if I go to the gym um, seven to eight in the morning I think I can just about manage to do that because what's normally even stop me is the fact that I know I have to do the pat lunches after the kids at school in the morning but I've worked out that if I do the pat lunches in the evening get everything ready in the evening then I can go to the gym between seven and eight in the morning get back at eight o'clock and I can then take the kids to school that's a rubbish place to park I park an epoxy Ugh. Ugh. anyway yeah, so I think if I well, do the gym between 7 and 8 and then I um, should get back in time to take to school and then still get back in time after that to do um, to do my work. And then on days that I don't have to do the school run, my wife can do the school run, so things should work out. All right, I'm at the gym now, so I'm hoping they do some sort of off-peak because I only will be, I'll only be using the gym between 7 and 8 in the morning. I'm hoping there's an off-peak payment system. Right, just been in the gym, well didn't get to the gym to be honest, just been to the reception desk to, require, to uh, inquire about the prices and A, they don't do off-peak rates, B, they put the prices up. So uh, I'm not going to be paying £32 a month just to use the gym for an hour in the morning, it's not that. I need to go to Asda's now to get the wife a birthday cake. Uh, we always do birthday cakes. So, and I haven't, and I've actually forgot. Yesterday we did all our shopping for the wife's birthday, but the one thing I did forget was the most important birthday cake. So, let's go to Canterbury now to buy a cake. I'll try Morrison's first, see what Morrison's have got before I go to Asda's. Alright, so this is day 23 of 100 days of vlogging in a row. And I've come to realise that you know, even though I hate doing this type of vlog where I'm just literally talking to myself in a car, I've come to realise that I don't think I can do 100 days without doing this type of thing, you know. With wife, kids, job, trying to take maybe an hour, two hours, maybe three or four hours out of the day to film and edit a vlog you know it takes its toll <laughs> and I've got to day 20, 23 oh, I can't remember. It's day, I'm pretty sure it's day 23 yeah day 23 so far I think I've had one or two days where I've not panicked but I've worried that I might not actually make a, a vlog for that day I am quite surprised how much of a worry it is just to get it done and I know it's a challenge, and that's the whole idea of a challenge is that you know it wouldn't be a challenge if it wasn't a challenge. Um, I don't realise how much how much time it's going to take. Yeah, so you know you go from getting up in the morning thinking right, 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 I need an idea, I need an idea, and then it's well, I must, I've got to do my work first, I've got to do this first, I've got to do that first, and then I'll start doing the vlog, and then oh, then I've got to edit it, and then I've got to get it online. So I think the best thing I did was try and get a day ahead of myself, but that didn't last very long. I'm already down to trying to get it done in the evening and then 
you know, what happens if like, what happens if something happens in the evening? What happens if you know, I don't know, one of the kids get ill or um, I need to go out on an emergency? That's it, done, finished. The whole thing's finished. So the backup plan is going to be while the wife's, I think she's got two weeks off at the moment off work. So she's got all, you know, well she's got sort of holiday and days off in lieu and all that sort of things. While she's at home. I might try and make the most of that and uh, dash out here and there and do some backup vlogs. I've got I've got about 18 different ideas now on my ideas board. Some of them are a bit impractical to actually get done. Some of them take a bit of planning and a bit of um, preparation. So I can't just look at the board and go, right, let's do that. So I'm looking at my ideas board and I'm looking at the uh, ideas I can do Maybe I'm doing three or four in a day and then relax and not worry and just, I don't want to use the word stress because it's not stressful. If it gets stressful then I'll just stop. Simple as that. There's no way I'm gonna make something that I come up with as a challenge and something I enjoy doing turn into a stressful activity. Uh, as soon as it becomes stressful, I'm bailing. So I I'm just gonna go, sorry guys, I'm stressed about this. I've got better things to do rather than get stressed about making vlogs. I know it sounds a bit harsh, but that's the way it is. At the moment, I'm loving it, I'm enjoying it. Uh, the moment it gets less than that, is the moment I go, no, I can't do this anymore. That's just me being honest. There was loads, I had loads of things to talk about on this my little journey, and I've got all of them. I think it's something else to say later. I've got one thing that surprised me about doing these vlogs. I think when I had the initial idea, I thought I'd be doing things about current affairs and the news and this is my opinion and this is what I think about today's news and you know, that sort of thing. I, I tried doing it on some the school run vlogs, um, but obviously I don't do the score on every day. So I'm quite surprised at how little I've involved in current affairs. Because I do have the strong opinions now and then on stuff I've seen in the news. Uh, I don't know why I haven't done it. Maybe I should do this more. Maybe that's what I need to do more of. But again, in the case of what about the location, I don't want to sit in front of a camera and just waffle on about today's news. Or do I? So I've been thinking. You know, I look at some vlogs, and they're just like uh, they're just like you know, TV shows where you've got someone sitting at a desk and with a big old microphone. You know, a big. I mean, the, the, the microphone is even exaggerated, you know, it's a massive microphone on a desk. And they're vlogging just using that. A desk, a big old microphone, and just talking about uh, the news, or a particular niche. So, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe that's what I should have done in the first place. Maybe that was my idea all along. I don't know. But, talking about niche, uh, I'm well aware that my vlogs are very random and sort of trying out different types of niches. So, but there's one more sort of thing I want to try and do with my Osmo. When my Osmo arrives, I've got a, I've got a big idea. It may surprise a lot of people and it may sound a bit boring, but the niche I've got in mind and the topics I've got in mind, I will have no problem with location at all. Um, and I'm quite interested in them. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not devoted to them. I'm by no means a big fan of the whole subject matter they entail. But I'm trying to think long term. I'm trying to think, right, once it's 100 days done, what am I going to do then? You know, if I, my, my fear is. I will stop altogether. I don't want to do that. But the niche I'm going to go into, or looking at going into, I've got a funny feeling will totally turn anyone who subscribed just to hear me waffle on and just turn them away. So I may have to do some of these videos with this niche in mind as part of my vlog and see how they go. They're not going to appeal to everybody. They may not appeal to anybody. <laughs> Apart from the people who are actually interested in that thing. You know, they, I'm not going to be doing vlogs about steam engines, but it's it's that sort of thing where it's going to be very specific and it will only uh, relate to certain types of people. 
So if I only start doing that and they work, then maybe I'll just carry on doing that for, uh, for a while. But anyway, I've got another 18 ideas yet I want to try before I start worrying about that sort of thing. But yeah, that's what I'm looking to next is where I actually want to go with these vlogs. I mean, I'm 42 years old. You know, I'm not a young, hip, trendy, fit, good-looking guy that most of the successful YouTubers are. I'm a 42-year-old man, bald, four kids, wife. So if I look into a niche, it's got to be something that's going to be relevant to people that I'm not looking for, fit, young, hip people. Right, so I've just been to Morrison's and got the wife's birthday cake, which looks very nice. But I was really glad that I didn't do the whole vlogging thing in Morrison's because I bumped into two friends and they would have absolutely ripped it out of me. So I'm quite glad I didn't help the whole vlogging public thing going on. So anyway, if I go back to this niche issue that I'm talking about, I'm trying to work out whether there be enough content for me to use on a niche that I want to try. And the more I think about it, the more, the more I think it's, it, it's a good idea. There are plenty of these things that I could, uh, could talk about. And they are always there. They're never going anywhere. Um, and they're, they're all over the country. If you can guess, <laughs> if we can guess what I'm talking about, put your comment in the comment section below. And then see if anyone can guess what niche I'm thinking about going into. It's something I will do once my Osmo arrives, because I think using the Osmo, hopefully, touch wood, will make some great shots. To be honest, I think I could, I could probably get away with it. I could probably get away with using just my normal filming technique with my hands, you know, just using the hand with my, yeah, with my phone. But I really want to make, if I'm going to go niche, then I really want to make it stand out. I don't think there are too many other people doing the niche that I'm thinking about doing. Um, I, think I, I have had a quick look around YouTube. There are one or two people doing it, but not the way I want to do it. So I think it, I, it's something I'm really considering. And I can do, I'll probably get away with doing about 20, 30 at least, just in my own local area alone. But um, after that, I'll have to start travelling further afield, and that's when I'll judge whether it's worth it. To be honest, even even thinking about it now, as I'm talking, I'm thinking, well, maybe, actually, it may be worth to start a whole new channel just for this one niche. That could be a possibility, actually, thinking about it. Um, I don't think it's, it's going to be a weird thing trying to mix the niche that I'm thinking about in amongst random blogs I think if I'm going to do this niche I need to create a brand new channel and devote it just to that okay yeah that's probably a better idea isn't it totally a better idea the idea will be making a few videos with this niche in mind see how they go get some opinions from you guys then if it's looks if it looks like it's going to be a good idea then I probably will make a brand new channel just for that niche and then maybe do two three of videos a week on that given subject I'm always thinking about search engine optimization and trying to get a market that not a lot of people have flooded already so that's maybe my problem with the niches that I'm using already in this vlogs uh, challenge again it goes back to doing what you like you watch these motive blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You watch these motivational videos and it's all about do what you like you know so yeah i will be doing what i like whether it's enough to keep me interested in doing it time will tell i suppose uh, i'm back at home now so i'll have to edit all this waffle together without making everyone fall asleep 